Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my topic today is trees. Trees are so great. What do you know about trees? Well, here's the first crazy camel fact. Trees are about half carbon. That's the half that uh, isn't water is half carbon, right? Just to make that totally clear. Which is not really clear because every tree is different because trees are diverse. But what do they have in common? They anchor soil. They protect the soil from drying out. I guess they prevent flooding. I don't really get how they protect flooding except for taking all that water into themselves, but they do. They provide habitats for other creatures, of course. And they eat carbon dioxide. They are made of carbon. There's a great Veritasium video about trees, about how they grow. They don't take much out of the soil. They take like a couple grams out of the soil. They take kilograms out of the air. I'll link to that below. It's a really old one. Seven years old, wow. Another crazy camel fact. Burnt wood, like a kilogram of burnt wood, will kick out almost two kilograms of CO2. Isn't that confusing? Well, that's because the carbon combines with oxygen. There's twice as much oxygen and CO2 as carbon, so... Today on Earth, we believe we have three trillion trees. Oh my gosh. And the World Economic Forum even says that we have more trees today than we had 35 years ago. Enough trees to cover the space taken up today by Texas and Alaska. So around 2.24 million square kilometers. Is that 168 billion trees? It could be. Hard to measure these things. Now the catch. We're losing trees in warm places and gaining them in colder places because um, climate change is opening up these places for trees. Great. Naturally, like getting a sun tan uh, in the north, the trees don't get as much sun as they do in the south. So they, we're getting more trees in the north and fewer in the south. So yeah, that's the catch. To compensate for current human CO2 output, we would need another 1.5 trillion trees. Wow. Or 40,000 direct air capture plants. Those DAC plants capture usually around as much as 40 million trees. So humans are planting trees like crazy in Pakistan and India, as I've already said, but also in America. Between the government and the private sector in America, they plant around 1.6 billion trees a year. Of course, they're also harvesting a lot of trees. So yeah, it's hard to track actually what the status is. But the point is lots of planting going on and that's good. Take the good. So trees are doing a great job to compensate for how much we're doing right now putting out the uh, CO2, we need to increase the number of trees from 3 trillion to around 4.5 trillion. And that's a, that's a huge task, but you know, work on it humans. To help that out, we can also build direct air capture plants. Each one is worth about 40 million trees. And you know, that's not everything. There are so many human ideas to help work on this carbon imbalance. These are just the first two that caught my attention. So if I see anything else, or if you see something else, let me know, I'll look into it, I'll, I'll check it out. Humans are planting lots of trees and they're building direct air capture plants and they're working on other projects. So keep your eyes open and see how you can take part. You know, fuel, when you burn a kilogram of jet fuel, you put out over three kilograms of carbon dioxide. You can't really individually stop a plane from flying, but you can carpool. And if you figure out how many liters of gas you don't burn by taking a day off of driving your own car, that's a direct impact. So every time you take the train or a bicycle or combine your gasoline burning to take more than one person somewhere, you're helping out. So keep going, humans. Despair is verboten. You can do the good work, and you are. I wish you luck, and I wish you all the best, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Hooray, trees. <laughs>